Carl, thank you. Well, President Obama's campaign is focusing on voter turnout, heavily relying on a familiar face to bring back memories of better days. Chief White House correspondent Ed Henry joins us live from Cincinnati with more. Ed? Good evening, Megan. Call it the Bubba bailout. Bill Clinton trying to pull the president across the finish line in a frenetic final push. Right down to Fleetwood Mac's anthem that Bill Clinton rode to the White House twice, President Obama is cribbing from his predecessor's playbook. And everybody's playing by the same rules. That's what we believe. That's why you elected Bill Clinton in 92. That's why you elected me. A mad presidential dash as he raced to battlegrounds ranging from frigid New Hampshire with Clinton, Ohio with Stevie Wonder, and Florida with the singer Pitbull. The Obama camp is confident its ground game will carry the day, though in private they're edgy about the battleground still being so tight, so they're pushing back on Mitt Romney's efforts to grab the mantle of change. We know what change looks like. What well, Governor Romney is offering ain't it? Also key is Clinton, who just four years ago was calling the first Obama campaign a fairy tale, but has now crisscrossed the nation. The only Clinton working harder than him is our Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. While the original comeback kid may also be collecting chits for his wife in 2016, if Mr. Obama beats Romney, it will be in part because of Clinton's coattails. He's tied himself in so many knots trying to say he didn't oppose what he clearly opposed. <laughs> that I expect any day he'll be offered a job as a chief contortionist at Cirque du Soleil. Clinton so integral, Vice President Biden today fumbled an attack on Romney. That ad you've seen that says, President Clinton bankrupted Chrysler. And some of Clinton's lines are cringeworthy. Now, when I was a kid and I got caught with my hand in a cookie jar, I'd sort of turn red, shrug my shoulders, and take my hand out of the cookie jar. He's grabbing for more cookies. Now, Democrats have been trying to downplay Mitt Romney's late charge into Pennsylvania, saying it's a desperate attempt for 20 electoral votes. It turns out now the Obama camp is sending Bill Clinton into Pennsylvania tomorrow for not one, but four stops all across the state. It suggests they're more nervous about Pennsylvania than maybe they're letting on. Megan?